Today's video will be on putting a new thermostat in your 7.3. Now, stock on some of these is 195. I know people upgrade them to 203, but for this F350 on the computers, it says stock was 208. And uh, I picked this up from OIS. Now, I ain't sure if it is stock, but it said so on the computer. But uh, I know International puts 203s in them. Maybe they put some 208s too in the in uh, the engines i know ford put a a different uh temperature in those i don't know why and it's uh 205 it ain't a 208 can you see now it's a 205 degree thermostat so uh, just two degrees more and it's it ain't what right on the money when they open the clothes it's just a ballpark number so uh thermostat should do good so let's go ahead and install it first thing you want to do is pretty well disconnect your batteries you don't have to but you should just cut so you don't short anything out and you can see right down here that's a new thermostat temp sensor we installed didn't fix it we're going to see if this thermostat is stuck open or if it's not got one in it but you got three bolts one on the back side here and then two in the front here and i done hit these with a pb blaster before you attempt this you want to make sure your engine is uh also cooled off because this and the freeze does get hot or if you the guy got water in your system you shouldn't you know you shouldn't have water in your system but that gets hot also should be a, a mix of antifreeze and water but uh you want to drain your radiator but there will always be some fluid still left in the system this is actually can't have a thermostat in it or oh, it's stuck wide open so and they pump takes right here so once you get your idea drained and stuff you can pretty well just undo these right here and remove your hose and uh go from there using a big long ratchet and extension you can actually get to your bolts quite easy and you want to be careful and not strip them. The bolt socket size on mine is, what is this, 5 sixteenths, I think. We'll check. 5 sixteenths. Now, this is probably a metric, but these fit pretty snug on it. Could be from the rust. But yeah, 5 sixteenths fits mine. Just double check yours. Now, once you break the seal and you get them three bolts removed, you will lose some antifreeze that's still in the system. But if you don't take your hose off, you can just lift up on it and bend it out of the way. That's what I'm going to do. So, let's go ahead and loosen this. So, guys, this is pretty well my thermostat. That's some good engineering. That's basically ain't got a thermostat. Why the hell would you even try Oh God, look at this shit. People, you don't need to be working on shit if you gotta do this. Junk. So this is pretty well the thermostat housing the bottom of it. As you can see, it is pitted. They are known to go bad. Thermostat housings is quite common to be warped and it won't steal off without use of silicone and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this and up with some 320 sandpaper. So. You know, when I put a coat of silicone on this, it will seal off pretty good, even with the oil. Now that we got that prepped, and we got this cleaned off, and the thermostat set down in there, you want to lube this with some old antifreeze before you set it down in place, but it will go pretty well inside this lip here where the thermostat is sitting. The O-wing basically sets down in that groove, nice and level. We got it lubed up now. We got a uh, old thermostat housing. If you can tell, uh, actually put silicone on this end, so when it goes together, it will help seal. The best silicone I have ever used is this right here. It's great. It will hold up against antifreeze. It will hold up against pretty well anything you throw at it. And you can glue windows in, make bushings out of it, and anything. It's great stuff. Cost free, but I recommend using this if you don't want to do the job trust. Now, if you was replacing 
this whole gooseneck you shouldn't have to use the silicone but i'm not replacing that tip for your back bolt to keep it falling out of your socket and you get it started take you some grease and put it in the inside of your socket if i could hold this and show you put your bolt just in like so and pretty well good to install it as for the old thermostat gasket uh and uh thermostat and you're probably saying what's the west of it did it fall down into the motor and stuff no it did not you can tell it's been hammered by this is bent and if you look underneath here at the tabs that's been broke off so somebody go to this thermostat and used it and tried to actually use it just to seal it off by using this rubber o-ring why would you take this out maybe somebody thought it gives you more power actually it does more damage than good motor don't run at optimal temperatures so you don't get optimal performance so you can go ahead if you took your battery loose you can go ahead and put them back uh uh, terminals back on then you can feel your radiator back up and check for leaks and you want to listen for leaks as you feel in your radiator because you can actually have a leak and it all leak out and then you know you wasted money so you can uh this be a perfect time to put new fluid in this i'm actually going to do a new fluid uh fill on this uh 7.3 since you know we've done lost half of it uh other than that the leak should be good the uh, white stuff you can put the silicone that we used pretty much in use soon as you uh you know uh install it but i'd like to give it at least in 15 to 20 minutes to an hour so i'm gonna go pick up the fluid and uh probably do a video on we fill in your radiator for you guys on your 7.3 but that concludes this video on installing your 7.3 thermostat it's pretty simple it's pretty easy I do recommend changing your gooseneck unless you want to be cheap like me and Matt. Couldn't we just stick a a new uh, uh, thermostat in it and just use a stock gooseneck because it's functioning. Nothing a little silicone can't fix. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, drop me a like. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And uh, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it if you do. And I'll see you on the next video.